All right, so back to Mountain Knot City. Um, I do want to go ahead and do order number 56, uh, recover the winter clothes. And that's what we're going to be focused on right now. Welcome back. This is episode 41. I believe it's episode 41. Sometimes there's just so many episodes that I get them uh, mixed up a little bit. But uh, I believe we are on to episode 41. Um, a lot of areas that I've kind of, um, I would say, not necessarily left behind. But all these areas I have yet to explore. I need to go back and take care of a lot of the exploration and um, making some five star overall ratings with uh, those individuals. I could make that network a little bit stronger. And let's see, I look up, it's uh, a cool rainbow over there. Like it might be raining over there. Um, let's take a quick look at the map. And I, I know I have a network of zip lines that goes on this way and up and around. I might want to make another network of zip lines that goes up through this way. I see this direction here, but I don't ever remember going this way. I think this might have been a network from another player. So I definitely don't remember walking up through all of this. Or even down this way or through here. I don't remember any of that. It's interesting. So I guess some of these networks aren't necessarily mine then. All right. Um... All right, so I could push forward a little bit and do some laying of, see what kind of stuff I, I don't think I have uh, PCCs with me though. That's interesting, I don't have access to that. Let's get down off of this real quick. Uh, I guess when I press the uh, start button when I'm hanging off of a zip line arch or a zip line post, I can't see what I've got on me. All right, so I'm not carrying any PCCs with me to even put down, but I could create a, another network. Um, let's see if I've even connected to that network. Yeah, I can't even put that network up because I need to find out who's in here. All right, so collect retrieval, that one's that. Some leather station, ceramics, die hardman, sticky guns, the doctor, the mountaineer, the roboticist. Right, recover the winter clothes. It's somewhere inside there. Alright, so let's just use the zip line to go back over. Yeah. Where I came from. I'm surprised that there isn't a stamina bar for uh, Sam whenever he's hanging off of this. Because I mean, he's holding. You see how he's like holding on to just his cuff link. I mean, maybe he doesn't have to ho use too much of his hand strength, but it is kind of weighing heavily or probably putting a lot of pressure on his wrist. I mean, maybe his arm gets tired and arm get dislocated. I imagine with the power gloves. But, I mean, there's no reason to need the power gloves for the zip line stuff. Because I guess he doesn't really need to maintain a grip. Up here before I did have a zip line post between these two, but I dismantled it because there was no reason to really have one. I put one right here on this peak, but I dismantled it. It'll increase the bandwidth, but I don't really need much bandwidth here. I need bandwidth up there, which is where I'm about to go.
do believe I have, yep, I have a, another post right up there to the right. It's exactly at 300 meters. Okay, 299, not exactly. It's probably a good five minutes. Every time around, you know, between two, 300 meter posts at their max, I'm saving myself five minutes. And I don't have any more zip lines from here. So I'm gonna have to truck it. I don't have my all terrain uh, on. I probably should have brought them. So somewhere through here, I am looking for Dead Man's Winter Clothes that I guess he lost in the storm. I'm going to go over and check this tower out. Maybe the tower is within the boundaries of my search area. It's over by the... Oh, I haven't even tried to see if I could lay down another zip line. Of course, I don't have any, so I guess it really wouldn't matter. But I'm going up in this area. That's some pretty large chiral crystals. I don't know if that right there is a chiral crystal or not. Looks like just a plant. But that definitely is chiral crystal. Alright, let's take a look at this tower and see if the tower can tell me if this stuff is nearby. Am I even in the area? I'm not even in the area yet. Alright, let's still check the tower, see if the tower does anything for me. Let's move over here. Oh, I guess I can make flip-flops or something with those. Towers almost feel like the um, st perching stations or overwatch towers that you can use in Assassin's Creed and it kind of gives you a, a view of everything around you. All right, so I'm going to go up here. Get this right here. There's a memory chip over there. Oh, I didn't, well, that's good to know, to find memory chips. The biotes. All right, let's go ahead and move on. And I'm not sure how long it keeps everything marked for me. But we shall see. Literally, these leaves are shaped like footprints. Like, look at them. They're literally shaped like foot, or like the shape of a foot. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go into the building, maybe the building is all I need to go into. And then from here, after I pick this up, I will move over to uh, the next critical path order mission to uh, kind of progress the, uh, the main story. I guess this entire house here was destroyed, so there's not much left.
looks like chiral crystals, but for some reason when I scan it, it doesn't show up as chiral crystal. left. Probably was a pretty cool place to hang out. Alright, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the order, see if I have any uh, amplifying information. Alright, Deadman's winter clothes have been scattered about by the supercell. They should be somewhere near the ruined cabin where you met. You need to go and retrieve them for him. This is a difficult delivery in a mountainous area. Watch out for slopes and inclines. The focus of this delivery is on the condition of the cargo. Deliver it in the best condition possible. Um, as I always try to do. So clothes designed to keep the wear warm in cold winter. Okay, great. Okay. Don't see it. Scanned quite a bit. I don't know, there's a marker over here, so I'm going to go over this marker. Let's see if I make sure I'm even... Oh, I'm not even really inside the... So I need to turn back around this way. Alright, so I'm in and around the cabin. Guess that means it could be anywhere in here. Collect retrieve at the near the ruined cabin. Cargo for delivery winter clothes. Oh, so it's up here. I actually don't need to go look for it. Well, that would have been nice to know. Pretty sure it was always available available for me to know. Well, it's within the network. But I didn't bring anything with me. So that's uh, that was a fault on mine. All right, let me mark the area real quick. way down there. So before I left Mountain Knot City, I should have, um, or before I left the weather station, should have uh, grabbed a PCC could have laid down a couple of zip lines. Cargo container ruined for metals. Let's see if I have a repair spray, which I don't. Alright, so now I'm going to start destroying those metals. So I need to go deploy some of them. Yeah, slide down. Shouldn't be a bad thing, right? of energy drink. Let's see if I can walk around the face of this cliff. Well, this doesn't look safe at all. Let's climb up a little bit farther. Did bring one 
climbing anchor. So I should be able to descend down to where I need to be. So I'm not sure what exactly Dead Man needs winter clothes for. Really, the only time I've met up with him is like in a projection and then in a World War II zone. So I don't think probably go down this way would be better. We should descend from here. I'm surprised there's no other climbing anchors around here. But this would be the place to put one. Glad I at least have this. So I've got that. Oh, somebody has left a, but it was a different, um, different position. simple retrieval mission. I've gotten so accustomed to the zip lines. said it before and I'll say it again this is one of those moments where I wish I had an mp3 player to play some of that music I've collected that's what I'd like to see uh a Tomb Raider game be. There are these open world style of uh, traversal. I'm making my way back over to the uh, zip line area.
blind. Sliding seems to damage my boots. Back to Mountain Nut City. I'm curious at what point the Kojima Productions team decided to put zip lines in. And I wonder if they were all, always energy types of zip lines. I mean, imagine if they were zip lines that you would have to place the first one, and then you kind of trail the line behind you to then connect it to the next one, and then you had to bring up tension between the two posts. Seems like a little overkill, so they probably went the other direction like the way they have it now. Auto-like. to deposit those thousand metals that they gave me. Hey, Sam. Welcome back. Tough journey as always, I bet. Wow, you, you really took great care of everything. I mean, honestly, you'd be hard-pressed to call this anything less than perfect. Thank you for saying so. Slowly approaching level 200. We're going to get through this because of you. Thank you, Sam. Good work. New order available. All right, we'll take on a critical path order for Sam. Corpse delivery, Hartman's lab. All right, so this is going to be a trek. Oh. Oh, Hartman's lab is over by the heart-shaped lake. All right, so this is a good length of a trek. I could probably make it over there by first going to the doctor's spot there. And is he in the... All right, so he's not yet in the network, so I should still bring some with me, though. Uh, I, I would think... Or as usual, should do it. Um, I should be able to put at least two with me and then carry two be like two on my shoulders and then two behind me. One ladder, one piton. 
All right, let's hope that I can do that. Um, I think maybe my speed skeleton is here. Let's uh, check that. So I don't need that. All right, so I'm gonna load the, oh wait, I need to carry it on my back. I'm gonna place those in my private locker. The four PCCs, let's see. Mama's corpse, let's put that there. All right, so I've got four things to carry. I got a PCC, a climb anchor, and a ladder. So the PCC, I'll put on my suit. The other PCC, I'll put on my suit on the opposite side. And then I'm gonna take off my power skeleton. And I'm gonna put that in my private locker. I'm gonna take the climbing anchor and put that on my suit around my hip, ladder on my suit around my left hip. All right, um, that's everything. Attach the suit, PCC, all right, metals. All right, so I'm gonna go back in and either fabricate or, oh, so here it comes. Cutscene. All right, Sam, take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Knowing them special. Be funny if these haw of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. try to get a see if I have a skeleton altering skeleton good and it's in good condition excellent I'm gonna equip that and it'll let me keep the other ones perfect um, X grenades I'm not bringing any of that I've got a ton of stuff in here uh, blood bag should be able to put that in my utility pouch. I'm not quite sure how many I can put in there. Used, 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 used. A bunch of used stuff. Um, we'll confirm that. And then we'll go back and do some recycling. Let's recycle storage. Nadomatic PCC. This is um, recycling, right? Unused bug, empty. Take the assault rifles. Let's see what's inside here. Let's recycle all of these. Let's see what's in here. Metals. Alright, so all this stuff I should be able to recycle. And that'll be good. All right, we're about 31 minutes into this episode, and we are taking Mama's um, corpse over to Hartman, which is down sort of to the northwest, right at that heart-shaped lake. Thank you. Uh, 
um, still in the mountainous area. I'm going to be traversing in areas that I don't have a zipline network. So I have went ahead and grabbed my all-terrain skeleton and a couple of PCC level twos. And we're going to move on to Hartman. See, I do have a set of boots with me, don't I? Ooh, I don't have a set of boots with me. Glad I figured that out before I got all the way to, uh, like, halfway to Hartman's. And I know I've got boots in here. So they should be in my private locker. Alright, let's go down. Let's see, lost cargo. Boots, bridge boots, level two, bridge boots, level three. So let's bring this set right here. I'll we'll attach that to the boot clip. And we'll bring, should I bring another set just in case? Yeah, I mean, there's space for it, so why not bring it, right? All right, that's all I need. Jump out of there. All right, uh, container repair spray. Ooh, I probably should bring a container repair spray. So I've got all these things and I want to make sure that they last. So let's um, probably, um, let's see, container repair spray. All right, let's bring one of those. Um, where can I put it? Um, tool rack? Yeah, tool rack's the place to go. And I'll put it right there. Perfect. Okay, now I think I'm ready to go. All right, I think I got everything I need. I got my exoskeleton, um, my um, all-terrain skeleton. I've got Mama's corpse. I've got uh, four PCC level twos, uh, climbing anchor, and a ladder, and two sets of boots. Uh, that should be able to get me where I need to go. I will probably take a zip line over to. Um, the doctor and the doctor should be able to get me close or the doctor's location will make it closer and then I can start to traverse up through the uh, mountain and my all-terrain skeleton should help me out with that. Step line over there. I don't know, it might be too. The terrain might be too steep. I might not be able to climb up that direction. Yeah, it might be too steep for me. This might not have been the way to go. Yeah, that's extremely steep. Okay, um, let's make a new path here all right so that is way too steep I'm gonna have to go this direction climb up through here so we'll start over there all right hopefully it doesn't take me more than 25 minutes to get over to Hartman's. Hopefully it takes me maybe 10 minutes to get there. So if I can get there around uh, 45 minutes into the video, and then I will uh, have enough time to probably watch a cutscene that'll happen. All right, 
right, so I'll climb up there. All right, it's not exactly the uh, traversal that I was gonna be, that I was hoping for, but. Alright, so I should be able to go... Oh, there's a... Is that a... Uh, there's one right there. I didn't even see that I could connect to that one. Oh, nice. Somebody hooked up a network for me. See if they uh, hooked up a network further over to um, Hartman's. Oh, nothing there. I mean, this was pretty good, though. Thank you very much for that. Let's go ahead and give this uh, one a couple likes. Thanks for the help. Wow, seventy thousand likes. Wow, that's nuts. All right, let's get a quick look at my location here. All right, so I'm overlooking the heart. Wow, I'm really close. Uh, wow, I really appreciate that one. Uh, all right, so we're right at the uh, heart-shaped lake and over to my right. Should be the location. Yeah, right there, that's not, oh, nice, very nice. Uh, all right. Perfect. Kind of feel like maybe a song coming on here. What do you know? Yeah, so here's another instance to where I have to kind of talk over the music because I can't let it play, otherwise I'll get copyright claimed. Um, full disclosure, I don't um, monetize my videos, so even if it does get copyright claimed, I'm not going to be losing anything. It's just sometimes if you get copyright claimed, and I got copyright claimed once in a Grand Theft Auto 5 when I streamed um, video of the Diamond Resort and Casino. Uh, when that was released, I got my penthouse and then went up and watched some TV parody commercial on, you know, plastic surgery, and I let the video play, and I got the video blocked so I don't know if it was the content that got blocked or someone had claimed it and it got blocked but I try to talk over some of the uh, I've mentioned before in previous episodes that I look forward to playing through this game again um, not streaming it um, but you know there's that that thought of you know I like the um, the recording of the this adventure and this uh, this journey um, so I might end up recording it anyway, it's just the music can't play and I might have to, um, you know, just, I don't know, make that decision when I come to that bridge. Hey, I've already arrived at a bridge. Look at that. Alright, so let's move on in here and let's meet Hartman. Timing fast. All right, up to uh, two and a half stars. Should get some delivery time. Nope, it's plus one. It'll take me to 92. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. I think once I meet Hartman, this will probably be the end of this episode. We're at 40 minutes, and we might uh, push on from whatever Hartman provides for us uh, in episode 42. All right, the heart has been added. 
See, I feel like um, based on where I'm at and the, you can kind of see the dashed line is where I crossed over from the eastern region to the middle region. Now the western region, um, you know, where Edge Not City is, um, looks like a very large area that I can still explore, and I hope they open that up to me and I have like almost the size of the area that I've been exploring now still left to do, but they said Edge Knot City is just kind of to the southwest of the middle region, so I'm I'm concerned that maybe that's this whole other area I'm not going to be able to explore. I hope that's just my mistake in looking at a visual map that they were showing when I was talking to uh, Die Hardman. Thermal pad. Hartman has provided design data for the following. A thermal pad. What does the thermal pad do for me? Please proceed into the facility with the cadaver. Good work. All right, so this is the first, like, building I've entered that is different from the uh, normal distribution center. Please There's a countdown because he's he dies, I guess, or his heart stops every 20 minutes, I think. And he gets resuscitated. It's interesting that they gave me that countdown. It's not that I not like I needed to know that. I don't think Sam knows that yet. Oh wow, look, the, uh, we've got a little texture there for walking on the soft surface. I like that. So you can see that there were depressions when he was walking on the um, soft surface. Episode 8, Heartman. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Is he also blind? I mean, almost with those thick you know, your heart glasses. Stops it stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the scene an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. 
In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea. That the beach is real, and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time. And search for them. Day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death Plus 20. see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um, oh. I keep thinking that he's not seeing where he's shaking the hand, but he's just, you know, putting it no slightly to the position. right of Sam. But it's as if she was still alive. you can't actually... S you know, he's just doesn't like to be touched, I guess. Corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But... This was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. Another 20. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret... Uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. A, a faster it's time than five theory. minutes. Five minutes is not elapsed. You think Higgs is pulling Four the minutes is not elapsed. Pulling all their strings. Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before
before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the sea. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. This might be a good place to say end of episode 41. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on episode 42. And we'll see exactly what happens.